look what just arrived my new iphone oh my god i'm so excited so this was supposed to be delivered yesterday but i wasn't home to sign for it i wish there was like a way you could just text them and say like you can you can leave it like i won't be there especially if someone works crazy hours and is never really home during the daytime like when they're delivering packages like how would you get your package like you'd have to have someone sign for it but i'm so so excited so i got the desert color in the pro i was debating on getting the max oh it's gorgeous it's like a rose gold color i kind of wanted to get the max but i didn't i feel like the phones oh wow you get a cable they give you a cable but why no block that's it. That's literally all you get. Remember when you used to get like headphones and stuff in the box? But this color is so pretty. It has like a hint of, it's like rose gold, which I love. Oh yeah, and there's a new button too. So now there's two buttons on that side. Oh my God, the color is so pretty. I need a case for it ASAP. I really debated on getting the Max because I do lots of filming and editing on my phone and I feel like the camera is always better on the Max. But like this phone is already so big. Like when I'm texting on my phone, I, I can barely even like reach the other side. So I'm like the pro would just be like way too big. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Here's the old one with the new one. And I am trading this old one in. I get like 550 back for it. It's a terabyte of storage and this is the 15 pro. So this one is now the 16 pro with a terabyte of storage, but I wanna set it up. I just don't know how long it's gonna take because I do have to leave in a couple hours, so I'm like, should I wait, or you think it won't take that long? I don't know. I feel like I remember this one taking like 10 hours. I have like 100,000 photos, so. Okay guys, we are merging over to a voiceover. If you saw my Snapchat story, I was reacting to me looking at these clips, and they were all filmed in slow motion, so my camera has this really stupid button right on the top by the record button, and all you have to do is press it once and then it films everything in slow motion with no audio and there's no way to recover the audio. I can speed up the clips. So that's what I'm doing here. So I cut the clips down a little bit and put them at normal speed. We're just gonna do a voiceover. But anyways, I went to Walmart because I'm making my boyfriend a fall basket. They had such cute flannels at Walmart and a bunch of fun little desserts and cookies, which we don't eat that stuff too often, like store bought. But I had to get it just to add it in the basket. And then I stopped at Chick-fil-A for some lunch. It looks like I have mayonnaise in my hair or whatever that is. Maybe it's cheese sauce. But I got the pimento cheese chicken sandwich, the spicy one. So good. So I had coffee before going inside of Walmart. And that was like my breakfast. And then I started getting like the shakes because I was so hungry. And sometimes coffee does that if I drink it on an empty stomach. So I just went through the Chick-fil-A drive through real quick to get some lunch. And it was so good. I'm so mad these clips have no audio because I did like a whole little mukbang, but here's me eating a little bit. <laughs> I was so excited to make this fall basket too and put it together and shop for it, which I also stopped at Target too to get a few things, but I didn't film inside of Target. Even if I did, you guys wouldn't have been able to hear the clip, <laughs> but... I'm so mad these clips have no audio, like so, so mad. I was just gonna delete them all, but we're just doing the voiceover. Don't worry, the audio will be coming back soon when I try on my Halloween costumes. But yeah, sorry this vlog is a little bit shorter than usual. Another vlog will be coming up soon. We'll do a Halloween get ready with me and all of that fun stuff. Yeah, I could not wait to make him this fall basket. Gift giving is definitely one of my top love languages. I love doing it and putting like cute things together, especially in a basket. So fun. So here's what I got from the store. Lots of orange stuff. We got some Slim Jims. Oh yeah, he has been loving those. And then we got some cookies, some beef jerky. I always get us beef jerky. I actually ate this can of Pringles in our road trip we had. And then we both have been drinking these pumpkin spice protein drinks. Okay, Steph, slow it down. We got some gum. We got some cold brews, which I'll almost likely drink those too. Then we have some socks because he likes to steal all of mine and stretch them out. <laughs> and then we have some cough drops because season is changing. You guys know. 
sore throats might be coming. I hope not, but I also don't like cherry flavor, but I'll most likely be eating those if I have a sore throat. Then we got some goldfish and then some deodorant. This was probably the best gift in the basket. And of course, the orange pack was the most expensive. These are golf balls, but we go golfing a lot together and sometimes you lose your balls. You can never have too many golf balls. And I was disappointed they weren't orange on the inside. <laughs> most golf balls are just white or like yellow, but then we got some leaves to put in the basket for decor. And then I'll probably end up putting those in a vase. I've heard these vitamins are really good for you. It boosts your energy levels and makes you happier. That's what I've heard. I don't know. It says it reduces stress. I have not tried them out yet, but then we got these Quest cheese crackers. He tried them. He said they were kind of gross and they were kind of wet. He has so many Bass Pro Shop hats. I don't know. He loves that brand, so he buys like tons of hats and just switches off between the colors. So this one was just laying around the house, but I'm just putting it in the basket since it's orange. And then we got some beer, some nice Oktoberfest beer, which I will not be drinking. I do not like beer. They make it sound so fun, like pumpkin spice, but it doesn't taste good. And then we have some flannels and this one, which I'll definitely be wearing this one too. So cute. And then this basket was from Target and here is my finished fall boo basket. So cute. I'm surprised everything fit inside. This basket was like so, so heavy, but I did this video about two weeks ago and the basket is still like put together. We ate lots of the cookies, those little pumpkin cookies. I put those in a little display case. We both love those Slim Jims. They're like miniature Slim Jims. We probably each eat like one a day. But yeah, he really liked it. And now I'm just waiting for my boo basket. <laughs> my Halloween costumes came. Let's unbox together. So I ordered these literally yesterday from Fashion Nova and everything came in one day isn't that crazy and all the halloween outfits were 70 percent off yes they were sold out of lots but i got two couple outfits which i'm sure my boyfriend's gonna love these <laughs> clown outfits and cowgirl and cowboy outfits so for the clown i got these white thigh high boots Ooh, cute and everyone said in the reviews that these are so hard to get on and off because it like goes up your leg, but apparently they're really comfy. So got those. And then here's one of the clown outfits. Ooh, spooky. So what does this come with? Best trousers with braces, hat, and arm cuffs. So this is the one clown outfit. <laughs> He's gonna look at this and be like, I am not wearing that. <laughs> and then here's my clown outfit. It's like a white like bodysuit. It's got leggings. There was one that was like underwear with like a little tutu, but they were sold out of that one, which I did like that one better. Honestly, this one might be perfect since it might be cold on Halloween, but it's just this <laughs> jumpsuit. And then I'm gonna wear my hair red pigtails and then there's supposed to be buttons on here oh they must go over top of these buttons but you put like these red buttons down it and then these are the cowboy outfits which there's not a picture of them these two cowboy outfits i just can't believe these came in one day and then i also got a dress for new year's eve i'm already like preparing okay just try it on the clown outfit it's so cute the white leggings look like a little bit weird, but honestly, since it's gonna be cold here for Halloween, this is perfect. And I might wear these white boots over top. Comes with these hair ties, so I'd probably do my hair similar to this, maybe higher, I'm not sure. And then I put the buttons on, oh wait, I'm missing one. There is another one. And I feel like this is a really cute and comfy costume. I've never been a clown, so. That's cute, I like it, so. Here's costume number one. Not bad for like last minute, honestly. Very cute. And then let's try on the cowgirl, which that one's a lot more like skimpy. I don't know. I don't know about the cowgirl outfit. This is probably going to be my like going out Halloween outfit. A clown. Oh my gosh. And I would love to do like red lipstick too, but I don't know. Whenever I do like a dark colored lipstick, I just always think it's all over my face or it's on my teeth, especially if you're drinking too. I just feel like it gets everywhere. So I'll probably just do like a regular 
pink gloss like how I always do my makeup, but let's try on the other costume. Okay, here is the next Halloween costume, which I wish they made sexy Halloween costumes, not underwear. Like if this was like just short shorts, that would be so cute, but like I can't wear this out. Okay, this outfit with these high boots though would be so cute. I really like these arms though. Like this is so fun. If anyone has any ideas on how else I could wear this, like should I get like a little black leather skirt? I just love the pattern on these pants because it matches the guy shirt. Like here's the guy Western outfits, this black undershirt with this vest and then those go like over your jeans and then the same belt. And then we already have two black cowboy hats like matching. Let me know if you guys have any ideas or do I wear like black leggings under this? Uh, that would look weird. I don't know. Or I can maybe just wear like flare jeans and then like cut this and then have it like hanging out of my pants like it's like a bandana or something or maybe like cut it and wear it on my hair. So we still match with like the patterns but this outfit is so cute. Hi guys, so I just now I'm doing all the voiceovers Here's my laptop. I'm editing. This video is gonna go up today. So happy Friday, everyone. So mad at my camera for doing this all the time. Okay, not all the time. It's only the second time it's ever happened and I do film a lot. But like, why is there this stupid mode on my camera? Like right by the record button. If anyone knows how to turn off or like get rid of the S and Q button, I need to just Google it, but I really need to figure out how to turn that off. Just sitting here editing, just had a grilled cheese. And then now I'm eating some yogurt. This is my favorite kind of yogurt. I used to like hate yogurt and I'd only eat it if there was like lots of granola and fruit on it. But I'm like I'm getting older. <laughs> I do like it just by itself now. I just toned my hair and blew it out so it's nice and like fluffy. We have dinner plans later tonight. Surprise birthday dinner, so that'll be fun. Definitely gonna get like a steak or something. It's at a nice restaurant, so. Mm, it's gonna be good, but I just got the mail and my aura ring has arrived. I'm so so excited It was supposed to be here yesterday and they lied to me. It came today So I ordered the gen 4 the day I decided I wanted to get an aura ring the gen 4 came out So like like how perfect does that work out the gen 4 is like a little bit thinner and it doesn't have like the sensors in it so if you don't know what an aura ring is it's just like this thick ring that you wear all the time and it tracks everything about your body. It tracks your sleep, if you're stressed, if you're hungover, when you're ovulating, when your period is, how many steps you get, like everything. It literally tracks everything and it's so cool. And I like noticed so many people have it now that I know what this thing is. Like, like people in my Pilates class, I saw the yoga instructor wearing it. Like everyone has one of these. So. I'm finally with the trend. I ordered this like October 2nd. It wasn't gonna ship until October, after October 15th because it's the new one. So I already had to wait a while to get this. I went to Best Buy and they have them in there so you can get sized. So I was thinking to wear mine on my left pointer finger. They recommend using your non-dominant hand and then like these two first fingers. You could wear it on whatever one you want. That's just what they were telling me at Best Buy and what they recommend. Because if it's on your right hand, it would definitely get like scratched up more if you're right-handed. But I mean, a ring is a ring. It's going to get scratched up no matter what. So I decided I'm going to wear mine on my left hand on my pointer finger. But then I think like one day when I have a wedding ring, I don't think I'm going to want this big bulky ring on my left hand. So I just like was thinking about that yesterday. And like... I really hope this ring fits on both pointer fingers. My right hand, I think, is slightly bigger, but we will see. If not, I may be returning this. And there's no half sizes either, so I got a seven. Here's the box. I got the rose gold. I love rose gold. All my jewelry is rose gold. I feel like it goes good with my skin tone. I do love just, like, regular gold, too. Okay, here it is. Oh no, it's tight. Okay, now I'm just like hot right now because I'm sitting in the sun editing. Okay, it fits on that finger. Good, it's like a little bit snug, but you know, I can pull it off. Let's see if it fits on this one, please. Okay, it fits on both. It definitely 
fits on both. It is so thick. Like, look how thick this thing is. Which I think the Gen 4 is slightly thinner. And then the other, Gen 3 has like these little bumps on the inside. I don't know, this one has like different technology, like just sensors. So I'm glad the day I wanted to get this, they had the Gen 4 out. Because I'd be really mad if I got the Gen 3 and then the Gen 4 came out. Because I feel like this looks a lot more comfy just being like a normal ring. But I'll take this ring off and just wear it here. But here it is. I'm excited. Okay, so is this the little charging station? I think it might be. Yeah, you plug a C charger. So that's where you charge it. And, oh, and it comes with a charger. Okay, no block. Why do these things never come with a block? Like, we don't have unlimited blocks. But I'm going to hook this up to my phone. I'm going to have to read this because I don't know how to do it. So here it is. It's definitely very big and bulky. Like... I don't know. I wish it was thinner, that's for sure. It's like huge and like it feels big on my fingers too. But I think that is just so, so cool to like really see what's going on in your body and like to know all that about your body. And then for it to always be tracking your steps and like your sleep. Like I always sleep with my rings on, so like I'm used to sleeping with rings on. But like if you wake up and you're super tired, but then you check your app and you got like eight hours of sleep, then there's obviously like something else going on like you maybe are lacking a certain vitamin this and that and you can also add your friends on the app so you can like see each other's steps and stuff so yay i'm glad it fits on both hands too it feels a lot more comfy on my right hand for some reason like it doesn't feel as like bulky I wonder if you can like switch off, like if some days I want to wear it on my left. This ring takes like two weeks to get synced to your body and to like start giving you the correct data and whatnot. So I will definitely give you guys an update on this whenever I have it. But I'm going to get it hooked up to my phone or the app. I don't even know how to work it. <laughs> but thank you for watching today's vlog. I know sorry, it was kind of like annoying with the voiceovers and I tried to make it work the best I could. But next vlog, we will not have that issue again, I promise. But I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.